So let's see, this question looks like it's a word problem. So I'm gonna just call it a translate word problem. Um, we wanna make sure that we're translating any quantitative information as we read. Definitely not reading all the way through before writing something down. So the question says, a worker uses a forklift to move boxes that weigh either 40 pounds or 65 pounds. So we have 45 pound boxes and we have, I'm sorry, not 45, let's get rid of that. We have 40 pound boxes, 40 pound, and we have 65 pound boxes that are being moved by this forklift. Let X be the number of 40 pound boxes. Okay, so X, I'll just say number of boxes. And Y be the number of 65. So I'll put Y over here in the column under 65. The next sentence says the forklift can carry up to either 45 boxes um, okay, so 45 boxes or 2,400 pounds, so 2,400 pounds. So what does that tell me? Before I even keep reading, what does that mean to me? That means that X plus Y can equal 45. In fact, it needs to be less than or equal to 45, right? Because up to, right? So this is just saying that, you know, the forklift the number of 40, 40 pound boxes plus the number of 65 pound boxes has to be uh, less than or equal to 45 because that's the limitation for the forklift. But I could also say that 40 pounds times the number of 40 pound boxes, because we're talking about weight now, plus 65, right? The weight times the number of Y boxes must be less than or equal to, because it can't go beyond this number, but it can be less than this number, 2,400 pounds. So the information from here, here, and here allows me to write these two inequalities. Now let's see the next sentence. Which of the following systems of inequalities represents this relationship? Now here's what I love about translate word problem questions. Because my mindset is already um, set on translating as I go, I already have this information here. So I'm not really depending on the question to provide it for me. So I'm just looking for which one of the answer choices basically says exactly what I just wrote. So what I see here is that answer choice A is exactly what I have here, which again is just the X plus Y is less than or equal to 45, right? Because it can only hold at most 45 boxes and that the 40X plus 65Y is less than or equal to 2,400 because again, um, the weight of the X boxes plus the weight of the Y boxes can be no more than 2,400 pounds. So that's my right answer. No need to look at the other ones.